You are now watching Islam. Don't, 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 don't. Alillahi ibadan futana, talaqu al-dunya wa khafu al-fitana, nadharu fiha falamma alimu, annaha laysat li hayyin watana, ja'alu halujjatan, wa attakhadu salih al-amal fiha sufuna. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم and welcome to another episode of the Islam Dunk Special IslamDunkTV.com check us out uh, subscribe and see other videos and today we have a special guest and I must say that I've met some people before but I never had the opportunity to interview them and this is Brother Muhammad السلام عليكم Brother Muhammad uh, Inshallah, Brother Muhammad is um, a new Muslim, a reverted Muslim, alhamdulillah, and his story is an amazing story. And Inshallah, we will move through this story and try to understand how did he come to Islam. So, Brother Muhammad, first tell us your name and where you're from, and I want you, I want the your name before Islam. Yeah, before my name is uh, Edwin Kahiki. Edwin, okay, and where are you from? Uh, from Philippines. Okay, and uh, maybe our viewers don't know, but uh, we are in the United Arab, Arab, Arab Emirates right now in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. And just tell us what brought you here, and what were you before? Like, were you Muslims or for always, or what, like, how did you come here? How did you come to UAE? Uh, actually, I am a uh, uh, born again Christian pastor before, a full time workers in uh, one Christian church in Philippines. Okay. So uh, I came to Abu Dhabi uh, for one mission. So you were you were a missionary. Yeah, I'm a missionary. Okay. I want to pioneer a Christian church in this place. Okay. So so you want to to build a Christian in church in Abu Dhabi in, in, Abu Dhabi. in, in, in a Muslim country, okay, Muslim as a mission, okay. And then after when that, did you come? Uh, uh, it is uh, June 21, 2004. 2000. Okay. Uh, that uh, mission. Okay, and who sent you on this mission? Uh, the church, and uh, one uh, deacon of the church, uh, he is a businessman. Uh, we have a uh, broke, uh, we have a uh, uh, agent, cargo agent in this place. So okay. he sent me to that company. Okay. Uh, but uh, that is only we, I have to work. But the main purpose, uh, that's why I come, is uh, to pioneer Christian church. Okay, so you wanted to start a Christian church now, yeah. like. You basically wanted to, was it to just get Christians to come to the church or you wanted to come and like convert Muslims to Christianity? Uh, I want a, a Muslim to become a Christian and uh -huh. I want also Filipinos, uh, Roman Catholic Filipinos to become a born again Christian. To be, okay. Uh, that is uh, what uh, I have in my okay. mind. So you wanted to convert Christ uh, Muslims and Catholics and to Catholics being born again, be born again. Okay, and now you were a pastor, you said, right? Yeah. Okay, which means you know your Bible. I you study your Bible. I, I read Bible. I study Bible. Okay, so <clears throat> you've come with this mission. Now, like, did you know anything about Islam? Did you did you have a kind of a manual of what our Muslims believe? How to approach Muslims? Or no, I don't have at that time. Okay, so you didn't know too much about Islam. I don't know about Islam, but I I know uh, <coughs> I know Muslim. I know Islam, but I don't know what we have in Islam. Because there are some Muslims in the Philippines, right? Yeah, there are some Muslims in the Philippines. I don't know what uh, the belief of Islam is. Okay, so now tell us how, I mean, what happened? How did God, Allah the Almighty, bring you to Islam? What, what happened in your life once you came? You came with a mission. Okay, so, so tell us how, um, how did you start? How did this whole trip of coming to Islam started when did you begin yeah actually this start in uh i go with my manager uh from my heart i want him to become a christian so this is your yeah. first mission this is my first mission okay my, i want my manager to become a born again christian okay so how how did so, you approach him uh at the time we used to go to dubai okay so you used yeah. to drive together yeah, yeah. Uh, he is driving and i am uh, beside him uh for work purpose so at the time, uh, I used to talk to him about uh, Christian, and he talked to me also about Islam. Mm. So it is a conversation sharing uh, of his faith and my faith. 
Uh, no arguments, no, just nice no talk, nice discussion. It's a discussion. very nice uh, okay. discussion. Okay. Uh, because uh, the uh, guy uh, that is uh, Mr. Uh, Rafiq Sheikh is a very good person. So he accepts what I am talking. Okay. And uh, for me also, I want to know what he is talking about. Okay, so let me just pause there first. You, because uh, you know, there's a lot of people that. You know they might know about something, but they don't really want to. Like they're not. So there was some sincerity there. You wanted yeah. sincerely to. Hey, I want to find out what this Islam is about. No, no. From from my heart, uh, I want to know what is his faith. Okay. So that uh, I can tell him this is my faith, and mm -hmm. we can compare with yeah, this Quran and with this Veda. Right. So we talk about. Uh, he talked to me about uh, sadaka. Okay, sadaka. Okay. Yeah, uh, sadaka. So when he explained about Sadaka, I told him, I have tithes. Okay. And I'm giving 10%. 10%, right. <laughs> so I am giving more than uh, you. bigger, more We're than better. <laughs> so I think uh, I told him, uh, I think Allah is more happy for what I give than uh -huh. what to give. <laughs> because, right. Because I am. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So at the time uh, he told me that I have uh, offering, I have this uh, uh, zakat. Zakat and Sadaka. And right. Sadaka. Uh, he gave to Rick Cresson. Right. I told him also, I have offering. Right. Yeah, I am giving also 10% right, right. Uh, of my income. You know? right, right. But when we talk about the one is a God, oh, right. that is the time that uh, he said, uh, uh, there is none worthy to be worship except Allah. Allah. It's fine. Now, so, as, as you said, you know, you talked about Salaka, you know, Christians have Salaka, and Muslims have Salaka, and you know, Christians have fasting, and Muslims have fasting. But when you talked about the uh, oneness, the one of God, that's what, that's that what is, that did it for you, right? Yeah, that is the thing to start. What, like, what, 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 what happened? Like, what happened inside you? What, what, what was the change? So, at the time, uh, I told him, I, uh, because he asked me, uh, who is your God? God is Jesus. Hmm. Uh, Jesus he said uh, in the Bible this is the Son of God. Mm. So how many can they worship? Mm. So it is. Uh, and uh, from Ten Commandments I know the first commandment is written. Right. So uh, from the time I start to think. Ah. So from the time I start to think, I start to pray. To pray. So I you actually pray. pray to God. I pray to For God. For what? Uh, to give me the uh, guidance. Guidance. Uh, right. Really, and to open my spiritual uh, heart mm. and to open my mind to the truth about the truth. About the the truth. truth. Now, how long did it take you from that oh. point till you actually yeah, became a saint? It takes four years. Four years. Four years. Four years. Four years. But from the time I stopped uh, the mission, you stopped your mission. Yeah, Why did you mission. stop your mission? Because uh, uh, from myself, I am not sure. I am not clear. I start to have doubt. That uh, I don't want to teach people. I don't want to bring to bring people to something that, uh, to is, something that is I for me from my own. It is not sure. Uh, so that is a uh, I stop, but I never stop to read the Bible. Right, of course. Yeah. Even as as Muslims, you are right now. I don't think you're yeah. you're still you know reading. You know? Uh, and uh, during the time when I I am not just only read the Bible. I'm not just only uh, memorize the Bible. And starting from the time I start to understand. Uh, the Bible, and that is uh, that is the thing that can help me also. Yes. That is the thing that can help me why I'm become Muslim now. Uh, uh, when I start to understand. Because as Muslims, we believe in the word that was sent to Jesus. We believe in the word that was sent. There's you know a whole definition about the different changes and people that they try to make out of. But we still believe that there is some. We hold the Bible and the Torah and. The books of God in high praise, right? We we believe that all the prophets were sent with messages, and that's the thing. People when they think Islam is like something you know, out there, you know, it's no connection, but there's such a beautiful connection mm -hmm. from the beginning till the end. And uh, let me ask you one question: Once you stopped your mission, did people like try to contact you? Did the people from back home, or what were they? What were they thinking? What were they wondering? What do you What do you think? They try to get back to him, like, hey, what are you doing? You know? uh, there are some, uh, even some, because I, I still continue to go to prison church. Okay. But uh, the mission, uh, I stopped. Oh, did they ask uh, you why did you stop? Did anyone ask you? Uh, there were some, uh, but I did not contact him.